Welcome to another video of Salesforce Flows. In earlier video, we have discussed about what is flows and why we will be using Salesforce Flows. Now in this video, we will be discussing about different types of Salesforce Flows. So mainly according to Salesforce, there are two types of flows. Uh, first one is screen flow and the second one is auto launch flow. So first we'll start with screen flow that what is screen flow and where it will be used, right? Let's start with screen flow. Screen flow is the guided process or flows that will take users through complex business processes step by step. And that can be launched on the click of any of the button or displayed as in component. So let's understand screen flow with the help of an example that why we will be using screen flow or what are the use cases in which we will be using screen flow. Okay. So uh, let's assume that there is a company Nestle and uh, that particular company is having different different sales representatives right now what is the problem that are faced by these sales representative is that they need to go on to different different pages or to different different objects to create different records for example if they want to create an account record then they need to go to account object same for opportunity same for contact or if they want to create a lead record, then they need to go to different different pages, right? So that will be very uh, complex process, complex process as in that they uh, first they need to create an account, then they need to go to the opportunity and contacts and lead. So what they want that they want a solution that there should be a single page that should be there. And onto that single page only, there should be different kinds of component that should be there that let's suppose this is for account creation. This is another component for contact creation and this is another component for opportunity creation and same goes for lead as well. Okay, same goes for lead as well. Now, what will be the benefit from this particular page will be that sales representative will be going to onto the single page and from the single page only they can create the account as well. They can create the contact as well and they can create the opportunity or the lead record as well, right? Now, how these things will be created and these are the part or these are the examples of screen flows. So with the help of screen flow, we'll be able to create the component through which the user will be able to create the account records, contact records, opportunity records or lead records and sum up or put all those components into the single page. Now, by creating this, what will be the benefit that will be taken by the sales representative? Now, they do not need to go to separate objects or separate pages. They will be having the different components onto the single page only and they can easily create the records from that particular page only. This is just the one use case and there are many more as well in which you can go for the screen flows. Now the another type of flows is auto launch flow. Salesforce has divided this auto launch flow into five different types and from which first one is record triggered flow. Now with the name only you can identify that it will be triggered whenever a record is created, updated or deleted. So basically record triggered flow will be executed whenever you will be having any of the operations which includes creation of the record, updation of the record or deletion of the record. So whenever you will be creating a record, the flow will be triggered or flow will be invoked. So uh, let's understand this record triggered flow with the help of an example. Let's assume that there is a company again, we'll be taking the example of Nestle. And uh, Nestle uh, wants that whenever any of the customer is getting registered with them, they want to send an email. Okay, and the email should be automated that any of the customer is getting registered. They want to send in personalized email. For example, thank you for registering with us. We'll uh, get back to you soon or something like that. They need to send an email. So what they want to do that whenever a record is created, whenever a record is created into the database, they want to send an email to customer. Okay, so this should be an automated process. Now, we are doing the operation on when, whenever the record is created into the database. So the operation is totally depend on to the creation or the manipulation of the record. So that's why we'll be using record triggered flow in that to achieve this particular scenario. 
Now let's start with the second auto launch flow that is scheduled triggered flow. It is used for automating or scheduling a task at a specific time or a frequency. Right. Now let's understand this with the help of an example. Uh, let's take an example of the company that is Nestle. And in Nestle, there is a profile that is sales manager. Now they have a requirement of that on every day, they should be getting a list of opportunities or the records of opportunities which will be having a close date as in equals to today. Okay. So basically what I want that whatever opportunities are getting close today. So I want all those records on each of the day. Let's suppose any of the one opportunity, let's say OPP1 is having a close date on 15th of May. Okay, so that opportunity will be uh, retrieved on uh, 15th of May. Now, let's suppose there is a second opportunity that is getting retrieved or that is getting closed on 16th of May. So at that particular day, the opportunity too will be retrieved. So what sales manager wants, sales manager wants that whenever any of the opportunity is getting closed, they should be getting an information of those opportunities on over the email. So these kinds of things we can do with the help of schedule triggered flow. Now let's start with the third auto launch flow that is platform event triggered flow. In this flow, uh, like basically this flow will be invoked or executed whenever any event will be generated from the Salesforce site. Okay. What kind of events can be there? They can be any of the error event or any of the success event that can be there. And whenever if you want to call any of the flow, whenever this events will be occurring so that you can use or in that situation, you can use platform event triggered flow. Now let's understand uh, this platform event triggered flow with the help of an example. So let's suppose you have created any of the flow. Let's take you have created any screen flow and at the time of the execution of screen flow, there is an error that has been occurred right now whenever the error is occurred if you want to perform any of the other action then that can be performed with the help of platform event triggered flow right now what kind of an action let's suppose if you want to store the details of that error in any other object or if you want to send an email whenever that error has been occurred so that can be done with the platform event triggered flow is it clear? Now the fourth part of auto launch flow is auto launch flow only and that you can also say is an invocable flows. Now these flows are the flows that will be called from other flows that include screen flow, record triggered flow or the platform event triggered flow. Okay. So these flows will be taking input from these flows, processing those uh, things into the background and giving them as an output. Okay. Now let's understand this auto launch flow with the help of an example. Let's assume that that you are having a three different flows, flow one, flow two and flow three. And in uh, all these flows, uh, you have a common functionality of sending an email, right? So one option is that, that you need to implement that particular functionality into the first flow as well, into the second flow as well and into the third flow as well okay to avoid this particular thing what we can do instead of creating different different things in every flow what we can do we can create a separate flow in which we can implement the functionality of sending an email and call that flow from these three flows so what will be the benefit from them that if you want to change something into the email, you can, you only need to change into the first or this particular flow only. You do not need to make the changes into flow one, flow two and flow three. Now let's talk about the fifth type of auto launch flow that is record triggered orchestration flow. This type of flow will allow multiple flows and multiple users to solve the complex business problems without writing a single line of code. Now let's understand this record triggered orchestration flow with the help of an example. Let's suppose your company wants to implement the process for case management. Okay. So uh, what will be the process for that case management that you want that whenever a case will be created in your organization till the case is getting closed with any of the uh, support executive. Between that duration, there will be different kinds of flows which will be there. 
right? Like uh, at the time of creation, at the time of updation, whenever any of the date will be coming up. So any of the flows will be caught. So instead of creating different, different flows, what we can do, we can bundle up all these flows into one particular process and that will be known as orchestration flow. Okay. That will be known as orchestration flow. So orchestration flow is what? That it will be having multiple flows with multiple users to solve the complex business problem, right? Now, why we'll be talking about record triggered orchestration flow? Why? Because this particular flow will be called whenever you will be creating any of the record or whenever you will be updating any of the record. Is it clear? So I hope you got the idea that what are the different types of Salesforce flows. Now in next video, we'll start with the practical implementation of each flows.